Hey guys, thanks for watching. You might notice I have a little bit of a different setup and also another human. Me! In my video today. Wow! This is my best friend Claudia. She is also here on YouTube. She does makeup videos. She's a super talented musician. Oh. Yeah. I'm your oh. biggest fan. But we actually have been planning to do a collaborated giveaway for a long time. Hi. How long, by the way. Has it been Hello. like months? We bought these palettes back in the in like December. No, wasn't in it? November at the what? VIB Rouge. Sale. Oh my god! Yeah. So we decided it would be really fun to kind of do like a thank you giveaway to our followers. We are each going to be giving away a Kat Von D eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to be giving away the shade and light eye palette. What are you giving away? I'm giving away the Monarch eyeshadow palette. So Claudia's palette that she's giving away is really gorgeous. It's got shimmers, mattes, it's kind of like an all-in-one palette. The palette that I'm giving away is strictly mattes. So a palette like this is great to have in your collection to kind of complement whatever other eyeshadows you have. It's great for blending, kind of smoky looks, everything like that. It's great for like a bunch of different, like, yeah, a, like pretty much show them what they So it comes with all of these oh, gorgeous eyeshadows. So we did actually each ears. film a tutorial yes. um, with our respective palettes and our respective looks. So on our mine, eyeballs. Yes, on our, on our, our eyeballs. eyeballs. Like this. Look so on the you, edge a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so if you'd like to see how I created the eye look that I'm wearing today, definitely keep watching. If you'd like to see how Claudia created her gorgeous makeup look, go over to her channel. I will link her tutorial right down below. Make sure you stay tuned for after the tutorial as that is where I'll go through all of the rules and ways that you can enter and all that good stuff. To win. And there's going to be two winners, so yes. you have double the chance of winning. Double chance. So win. keep watching. Yeah, so <laughs> keep on watching. This palette is such amazing quality. The shadows are very, very buttery and very soft. So less is definitely more. The shadows are so pigmented. You really only need to lightly dip your brush in it and you're pretty much good to go. I don't normally do sort of an all matte eye look. I love my shimmer and this palette is definitely great to kind of pair with a more shimmery eyeshadow. But for the sake of strictly using this palette, I wanted to show you how you could create a smoky matte sort of like a sultry eye look with a very sharp, defined outer corner. So I'm gonna start by taking a piece of tape, not a huge piece, just a small one, and placing it on the back of my hand and removing it. This just removes kind of the excess sticky residue so it doesn't stick too much to your eye and it doesn't hurt when you remove it. And I'm just gonna be aligning this sort of like adjacent from my lower lash line up towards my brow. Then I'm taking the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot with this brush here and I'm just gonna be applying this to my eyelid as my base this is just going to help everything apply much more smoothly and help it stay on longer. With the palette, I'm going to take this shade here as my first transition shade and using this fluffy Morphe brush, I'm going to be sweeping this sort of along my crease just below my brow bone there, sort of in kind of quick back and forth motions. This is a beautiful transition shade. It is a little bit on the warmer side, so I take little bits at a time and just slowly build it up. And then here I witnessed a bird fly into my window. It was a little startling. I don't know if the bird lived. I hope it's okay. Then going in with the Sigma brush and this sort of neutral brown that's a bit darker than the transition shade, I'm going to be blending that over top and also more towards the kind of outer corner of my eye. So this is going more on the actual eyelid than the transition shade that we used before. This look is a lot of blending and slowly building up colors. Then taking just a little of the shade next to it on this more tapered brush, also by Morphe, this is going on the outermost corner of my eye and I'm slowly blending that inwards. Using shades that are similar but just kind of slowly making them darker and building them up is what really helps give you that blended gradual kind of ombre look. Takes a little bit more time but it really does make your finished look look a lot more cleaner and more blended. So as you can see slowly building it up is gradually darkening the look without making it look too intense. So I'm just taking a bit more of that dark brown and slowly building it up to make it as dark as I like. Then I'm going in with this angled brush and taking the black, I'm taking a very, very light amount of this and I'm going to be carving out that outer corner along the tape. So I just lightly kind of flick it inwards. It's okay if you kind of go onto the tape. That's what it's there for. And then kind of carving that inwards. So I'm creating almost like a soft cut crease. We really want to focus the darker shading on the outermost part of your eye. Now taking this dark brown and a little bit of the black on this much smaller, more precise Morphe brush, I'm just going to be blending that outer area, darkening it up and really just diffusing those colors. So it's going to focus that darker shading on the outer corner, but just keep it nice and blended. 
Then going in with the brush that we used first, I'm just gonna kind of blend everything and just kind of re-enhance that transition area. Just make sure everything's nice and blended. And then I'm taking the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk. This is just a pure, like, bright white. And I'm gonna be applying this to my eyelid area, kind of just bringing it to meet where we did do that darker shading. And I like to lightly blend this out with my fingertips first before going in with the shadow over top. Then I'm gonna be taking this bright, sort of like a creamy off-white, and I'm gonna press that right onto the Jumbo Eye Pencil. I like to apply this when the Jumbo Eye Pencil is still tacky, that way it really helps stick and intensify it. This is a great trick to do if you really want to make that white appear like vibrant and bright. So yeah, like I said, I go in with a Jumbo Eye Pencil first and then press the shadow over top, and then I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that soft brown and just blend the area where kind of the white and the darker shading meets. That way it does look more blended and more gradual. Remember, blending is key. You literally wanna blend until your fingers bleed. Well, not literally. Taking this very warm reddish brown, mixed with this other brown on the left side, I'm just gonna be lightly sweeping that over that sort of outer mid area there. This is just gonna add a little extra warmth. It's definitely optional, but I decided I wanted to bring some more of that like reddish brown tone to my eyes. Now for my favorite part, removing the tape. So I like to grab it from the bottom corner and slowly and gently pull it upward. And as you can see, it leaves you with a super sharp, crisp line. For liner, I'm gonna go in with this Marc Jacobs eye pencil. It is super pigmented, super creamy, so you really do have to go slowly with this, but you can use any black eye pencil that you have. And I'm just gonna be lining this sort of as close to my lash line as possible and then lightly blending and kind of diffusing that out and I decided to go for more of a smoked out liner look today so rather than doing like a bold liquid winged liner I decided to just apply a little bit of pencil at a time and blend that out to meet where we did that sort of outer corner shading so for this I love to use this small smudging morphe brush I just take a tiny bit of that black eyeshadow from the palette and lightly blend that upwards really just kind of diffuse and smoke out that line this is something you can definitely do while you still have the tape on. I kind of just decided I wanted to do this after, so. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes. Just like to hold it for a few seconds and really helps give my lashes some lift and curl. And then going in with my favorite mascara of all time. I use this in pretty much every video. This is the Benefit Roller Lash. I'm gonna pop on some falsies. I find with a very kind of dark or smoky look like this, your natural lashes tend to kind of get lost so it's nice to bring some extra drama back. The lashes that I'm using are the Kiss eyelashes. These are just from Walmart, and this is the five pack, and they're in the number 11. Taking that same Marc Jacobs eyeliner, I'm gonna be applying this to my top and bottom waterline. It's so uncomfortable to watch. It looks very painful, but I promise you it's not. This pencil's really nice and creamy. It just glides on. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna take this dark brown shade here with a tiny, tiny bit of the black, and on that same Morphe smudger brush, I'm just gonna smudge this along that lower lash line there. Not too crazy, you could definitely make it darker if you want, but then I just like to apply a tiny bit of mascara to blend the falsies with my own lashes. Don't forget your lower lash line. And that's pretty much it. You can definitely customize it in any ways that you prefer. You could pair it with a nude lip, a bright lip, a red lip would be really pretty as well. So that was the tutorial. I hope that you guys liked it. And let's go on to the giveaway now. Yeah. Another In order to enter, there are a couple of things that you do have to do. Uh, first and foremost, you have to be subscribed to both myself and Claudia here on YouTube. You also have to be following us both on Instagram and like us on Facebook. So those were the three main things that you have to do to enter. And then the second thing you have to do is fill out the Gleam yes. entry thing, which is really easy because that kind of forces you to do all those steps anyway. Yeah, and it's just the easiest way yep. we find to kind of host an enter giveaway. Mm -hmm. It lists all the rules. It's kind of like, it walks you through everything. You can't screw it up. No. It's super easy. Yeah. Yeah, and there will be a few extra optional ways that you can enter if you would like, such as subscribing to your mailing list. Yep. Um, you can follow me on Pinterest. If you'd you like, can follow us both on Snapchat, which you yeah. should be doing anyway. Because we're pretty funny. You need to post on Snapchat more, though. I know. You're so... Yeah. I yeah. Know. You're bad. <laughs> <laughs> and then the third thing you need to do is comment on both of our videos telling mm -hmm. us which palette you would like to win. Also, there is one extra very special way that you can enter. I'm very proud to announce <laughs> that my best friend here, Hello. Um, she is in a contest with 
a radio station here in our city. I sing. Explain it. Well, basically, like I said, I am a singer, songwriter. I sing pop. You sing all sorts pop, of pop, yeah. indie, acoustic. acoustic, country rock. But basically, I entered and I made it into the first round of cuts, which is really yeah. exciting. But all you have to do, it'll be a link. You can do it every single day. I don't know what I'm talking about. My song is called Tonight. It's by Claudia Norris. So basically, you're just going to go onto the link and vote the up arrow. It's going to turn green, yeah. and you can share it on Facebook and Twitter as well. And if you share it on Twitter, both me and Megan will like it and yes, tweet, I'm gonna it. tweet it. And sure. I will follow you back. I've been entering every day. I have as well. So should you, because <laughs> I want her to be on the radio. Okay. And also on Gleam, it is a daily entry. It's one of the only daily entries you have, so you can literally come back every single day, click that you voted it up, and... Extra way to win the palettes. Yeah. Why not? Woo! Um, so we're going to be hosting the giveaway from April 8th mm -hmm. until the 29th um, and Claudia will be contacting the winner on the 30th? Yes. 30th. And it will be coming from the email hello at claudianorris.ca mm -hmm. and you have until May, I think it was 2nd. Yeah, you May have until 2nd, May 2nd. Monday to respond and if you don't respond by then we will have to pick new winners and mm -hmm. since there will be two winners the first yeah. person to email me back will get their first yeah. choice basically whoever kind of responds first will get their first choice honestly though <laughs> both palettes are amazing so yeah. whoever does win you are going to love either one of them so good so good the giveaway will be open worldwide you need to be 18 or older or have your parents permission to enter as we will be needing your full mailing information to send it to you if there's anything that you'd like to see us do such as ridiculous challenges in which we make ourselves look really stupid <laughs> definitely comment down below so yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and we will see you next time bye 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 <laughs> Gigi, bye girl bye you want to bend this don't you want to look like me don't you want to look like this with your palette that wasn't Ooh. my real singing so yeah it was no it wasn't <laughs> We did actually each film a just a just you know. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching. You might notice. You should do that again. I literally yeah. was like, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm worried your hair is gonna catch on fire. Like, just be a little bit. Careful. It's not. That would be the funniest video. What? If, if I literally <laughs> set myself on fire. Why would that be funny? That wouldn't be funny in any. It wouldn't be funny for me, but I mean for other people. You would still would upload it, wouldn't you? I would 100% still upload yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just well. never want to be that awkward friend in the video that's like... <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> hey, guys.